Hey, Spuddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Vietnam, where we are playing a very, very holy game, where we're making 57 faith per turn, and we're looking to buy some more settlers. That means we might be able to crank out an extra two, maybe three settlers before this era is over. Now, I am a little bit sad because I was forced to purchase a whole bunch of random units because Korea... What, it, what is this settler? It, I literally, I spotted this settler when it was here on this horse tile, or maybe it was on this desert, and it, like, literally, it walked all the way around. If I had been on the ball, maybe I could have blocked him off, but I wasn't on the ball. I dropped the ball. The ball has been dropped. And so now we got to pick up the pieces. What do we do with a ball after it's been dropped? Well, uh, your guess is as good as mine. I have absolutely no idea. What we can do is plan a tan in this city. I, you know, uh, farm triangle. I guess a tan could fit here pretty comfortably. That's a plus four tan. That's not too bad. Ideally, I would be getting them all to be all, you know, friendly and agreeable and working together and being on the same spot. There is a harbor in this city for sure. Unless I want to go for, well, I guess with three fishing tiles, this will be the harbor city. Yeah, this will be my harbor city. This one, however, will probably go for commercial hubs. Do a little bit of a split there. Plus, I could theoretically get a cultural wonder here in Donghae. Uh, well we could we could maybe go for shipbuilding do we actually have the harbor tech no we don't so let's do this in this kind of an order now in dong hoi i just i have too much tech i have too many things i need to research you know what would be nice campus would be so nice right now but that's not what we're going to work on instead we're going to get a granary because the city needs to grow i could use a builder to improve these tiles do that I want to do that? Okay, I need, I need to think about the tans. Where are the tans going? Well, like, if I put a tan here, okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. We could do something like this, right? We could, we could, we could have a little fun with it, right? Because these are worth a lot of tourism, you know? These are worth a lot of tourism. So I think I'll put a tan here and a tan here. And that, that's fine. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, now, speaking of tans, I guess that's what I will build here. Is it? No. I'm going to do a devotion to Maui. It'll take 26 turns. The city is pretty bad, but I'll be able to claw back some, some productivity there. Um, we are waiting for Magnus before we start chopping in the city. Uh, I can delete that pin. That pin is old and decrepit and not useful. Let's block uh, them walking through the gap because I really don't want them to come through here. And I would like to grab myself a galley because I'm curious if you can grab a galley with, what's her name? Uh, the lady, Budica, and use it uh, effectively. But you need to come this way. So they still haven't settled. I'm surprised. Where are they going? Because they, they don't have loyalty. They don't have loyalty headroom to keep up this charade. Oh, Lao, I could use a builder over there, but it's not what I'm going for. I will go ahead and appoint Magnus. Now, where is Magnus going? I think Magnus is going into the capital. And the reason Magnus is going into the capital is because I want to build an important wonder in the capital and I'll need the extra chopping power because there's not that many choppable tiles in here. Yeah, there's only like really jungle, which is not optimal choppables, you know? So now where is Pingala going. Well, I would argue that it was either it's either in Dong Hoi or Hue, and I think Dong Hoi might be a better place because he could stay there longer. Um, and this city will be growing. I could use a little bit of cash. Maybe I could sell. Well, I don't want to sell because my cities are already unhappy. What if I were able to purchase luxuries? No luxuries for sale. Can I sell a little bit of this? I get 99 gold. That gets me close to buying a granary in here. And buying the granary would allow me to scale up the city's population. I would also want to buy a builder in here. We'll see. Uh, we do have the temple now in the capital city. And we want to start the Mahabodhi temple. And since we're starting the Mahabodhi temple, then we will harvest the deer. And that will bring the Mahabodhi temple down to a 20 turn build time. Uh, the thing about Rapa Nui is they can be built on volcanic soil. So I could theoretically surround most of this mountain with Rapa Nui things if I, if I manage to get control of the Rapa Nui, that is. And that would be part of my game plan. I would like another builder in the capital. There's at least two more chops in here, at least two more, potentially three, depending on what I do with this tile. Okay, I'm less interested in what Korea is doing anymore and I'm just kind of like jaded. All right, things are going really, really well. Let's you reunite as friends, Scotland. It's always good to get friendships with the AI, um, especially AIs that could theoretically kill you. So they settled the city of Seoul. So this is me activating my almonds. And now I need to get down there because I want to control in a very, very big way. My almonds have been activated. Activada Cadabra. The big problem I have is I'm not top. I'm not top dog when it comes to loyalty pressure on the city of Seoul. But I could be top military pressure on the city of Seoul when it flips into pendant. How's my religion hanging, by the way? That's something I should be keeping an eye out on. I'm expecting in the next era, um, probably it's usually around the medieval era where the AI is like, oh, you have a religion? Let me just like 
eradicate that on you. And uh, that just be, tends to be how they operate. All right, you step back. Wow, you got shrecked by the Mega Colossal. Surprisingly, this archer did not. Uh, okay, here's where we learn. All right, 39, boom. And apparently stealing a galley with Boudicca does get you two error score. So I don't need to get a galley now. Um, and that was just a free great general. Like I didn't need that great general. So, you know, I ain't worried. I have no idea. Are they trying to kill Arma still? Yeah, they are, I think. They're still trying to go for Arma. I would like to be suzerain of Arma. You know what? Let's take let's take that suzerainty. That's two era score plus access to a Nazi. More importantly, it's scouting info. Who else would I like to have control of? I would like to be in control of Rapa Nui, but that's not really in the plans right now. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. I don't think we want to take control of anyone at the moment. We want to save our envoy points. Remember, if you can't do something useful with your envoy points, just save them for later. One... One, two, three. So I could settle on this tile and this tile. And that's what we'll look to do. I can buy another settler here. Next turn. Cool. Do a little bit of galley exploration, eh? That's exciting. You heal up for a turn. You're still moving. I am really worried about Korea, like deciding to go to war with me here at some random point. Uh, I will have a levy. That'll help. Uh, I need to talk to Scotland. Hey, Scotland, uh, open your borders. Stop. Stop having your borders be closed. Open your borders. I think our man should be able to hold this pretty, pretty effectively, actually. The only scary thing is the crossbowman. Uh, yeah, so we settle here, boom. Now, he's annoyed that I'm settling near him, but that ain't my problem. Plus, we just settled on a new continent. That gets me even more era score. The Golden Age is within our grasp. But it's all dependent upon getting the Mahabodhi Temple. Uh, let's get another settler here. Boom. So what do we got going? Of course, holy site. Or, uh, or not holy site, rather, uh, monument. I do want to buy a builder in Tan Lang. <laughs> I think I buy a, bill, a granary in Dong Hoi so I can grow more population in here. And more population growth translates into better Pingali yields. So that all kind of like aligns with my my crystal. My cr prismatic alignment is, is online. I'm going to attack once and then back up and heal. Uh, my people will settle where they please. Sorry. My people will settle where they please. So open borders expired. That's kind of fun, eh? All back to heal. So Magnoid is established in Than Long, and we will be chop, chop, chopping and getting the Mahabodhi down to a reasonable number of turns. I'll also faith by a builder to continue that strategy, the strategery. Uh -huh. Yep, 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 yep. The city should flip independent next turn. I'm very excited about that potential. You want to buy my iron? I don't have iron to sell. I'm sorry. I just don't have it. Whoa, that's a man at arms. All right, we're working on it. <laughs> Damn, I was not expecting Korea to have Man at Arms. Just wasn't in my expectations. So I got nine turns to break this city. I'm gonna use this scout to debate. I don't care if I lose the scout, but I do care if I lose the warrior. The warrior is kind of more important to me. Um, you go here, make sure we swap that. Yep, that belongs to the right city. And we chop. There we go. Three turns on Mahabodhi. We got nine turns on the era. What do we need? I don't want a joint war with Trajan. You get the hell out of here. 61 era score? Oh my god. But we are pogging. Damn, he stepped inside that city and gave it combat strength. That's okay. Okay, what can we buy? Can't afford a tile for the chop chop chopping. Link shopping. That should go fine. We want to get two apostles plus an apostle. Yeah, how long until faith? I've got eight turns, 64. I gotta do the calculation. 64 times eight is enough faith to get get an apostle. And I want to get an apostle to inquisitize. Inquisition? Inquisitize our religion. I need more faith. Yeah, I might not have enough faith to do everything. I need to say, I need to bank faith big time. Is there anything I can chop faith? Maybe pillaging? Can I pillage anything? No, there's nothing. I think I, I so what I need to do is I need to do an inquisition and then buy the last building in the district chain for, for what you call it, for, for holy sites, because that would get me perhaps enough era score to do what I need. Okay, this is huge technology that this man at arms came out of the city because now the city is like underfunded and underdefended. I got six turns to make a difference here. So once this man at arms dies, I think I got it in the bag. We can see. I need this guy to move right here. I don't know where these guys are trying to go. I got six turns. I'm holding on to a governor title so I can hit Chorus in the next era. Chorus will give me uh, an extra... 20% of the faith in my empire will be converted into gold, science, and culture. But it, it converts it without actually using up the faith. So it just like generates 60% more yields. Let's head towards feudalism. I want to get feudalism because I want the card serfdom. This will give builders an extra two build actions. Also, feudalism makes it so that your farm improvements get plus one food from every two adjacent farm improvements, which basically makes farms viable. Because if I were to put a farm on this tile, for example, well, let's take a more like this tile right here, right? This would be a pretty bad tile. It would be two food, one production, right? Like that's like a unimproved hill. Not a very good tile. So that's why farms aren't so great in the early game, but they do hit their stride in the mid game. I still don't know what to do with this city. I'm just, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get a granary. I'm going to get, I'll get a granary. I'll get a granary. That's what I'll do. I don't think you get error score for building 
the unique districts of city-states, do you? I do not think so. Theoretically, I could have the cash for a wood chop. And if I can get the cash for a wood chop, then there's maybe something interesting I can do here. The crossbow is dangerous technology that I'm not happy with. But there's the two free apostles. The two free apostles are huge. I get four era score for building a wonder of the correct era. Then I get to evangelize both of these apostles immediately. I come in here. I have reliquaries. I have pilgrimage. So faith generation is kind of like the big thing for me right here. Dar a mirror. Gurdwaras are good. A lot of food. Not bad. I mean, Gurdwaras are just like a really all around good building. Plus two food, plus one housing is a solid. Um, pagodas are really good for generating like diplomatic victory, which could be a pivot for us because we do now have the most diplomatic victory points. We would just need to get the Patala Palace and the Statue of Liberty to do a fast victory. Wait, let me double check that. Yeah, we're on track for a fast victory. But is that how we want to win the game? I mean, it's a valid way for Vietnam to play, I would say. But it's not how I want to play. So instead... Let's have a look here. Cheaper apostles and missionaries. Ooh, if I were to get the cheaper apostles and missionaries. Here, well, here's here's what I am doing, okay? I am for sure going for Gurdwaras. It's just the best of what's left. You could make an argument that pagodas are super powerful, but I really like Gurdwaras personally. And then Holy Orders feels like the correct play. Okay, so that's plus four era score for fully evangelizing. So that's eight era score in total. There is era score in buying the Gurdwara. Let me do the calculations here. An apostle is 320. I will get another 75 times four faith. I'll get another 300 faith. I will be just short unless, aha, I think I might have a way to make this work. If I buy the Gurdwara next turn, force work the faith building. Yeah, I can't afford, I don't think I can chop that out in time. What is a chop worth? It's not worth enough. That's the problem. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah, 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 okay. So we're going to faith purchase the Gurdwara next turn, force work the holy sites. In fact, I'm going to go like through my cities and be like, hey, work faith if you got it. Just like squeeze out that little bit of extra faith if you got it. Now it would be really good for me to get like my audience chamber, I think. It would just, it would just be good to get it. Like I really want this golden age. So let me think about this. I can't get to the Voi Shen fast enough for plus four era score. I have no wonders coming. At least this crossbow is dying. I need to take soul. I have not a lot of time to do it. Yeah, I'm on a very tight budget when it comes to faith here. It's not good, but it'll work out. Okay? I come in here, I buy the Gurdwara. That'll boost the faith per turn up to 87.5 per turn. I will get how many more? 87.5 multiplied by... Th uh, three. <gasps> I will be just able to afford a 320 apostle and do an inquisition. <gasps> no, I won't. It'll happen too late. No golden age. Rip. No golden age. I, I just don't get it. That's, uh, them is the breaks. All right, let's build the tan. We'll place the tan because we, we eventually want one. Um, granary. Science is just really, really poor right now. I'm waiting for Pingala to really kick in. Um, my production is terrible too. Big lack of builders. Yeah, this go the, the lack of a golden age here is going to, that's going to cost me. What could I chop out? What could I chop out? Nothing. There is no wonder I can chop out in time. There's no infrastructure I can chop out in time. There's nothing I can do here. I've already done soil revivication. Just slightly. Iron and horses could be done. Okay, we need to get the city under siege again. The city is under siege, so it's no longer healing. Slowly damaging it. I got to do as much damage in as few turns as possible. I think I might be able to take it in a turn or two. I'm going to place the city here for my own personal loyalty. There's plus one error score. I'll take that. I'll take that. I just need six more error score. I'm just going to be so... I'm going to be just shy. Man, that feels bad. What could I do here in terms of error score? Hmm. Yeah, I think my empire just wasn't quite set up for error score. I had a couple of small obstacles get in my way. That's okay. It's okay. We have things we could spend our faith on, if I remember correctly. I just have to remember them. <laughs> Reform church. So let's blast the city some more. The nice thing is, as the city gets damaged, it takes more damage from our attacks. Easy kill. Yoink. Error score. Does liberating a city get you error score? I'm Googling right now. What if I keep this city? No. Oh, excuse me. Why is your loyalty so low? Uh, let's take Victor. Put him in the new city. Can I sell something? I think I'll just sell my iron. 174 gold. Should let me purchase a monument. That'll buy the city a little bit more time. The really big worry is if India goes into another golden age. That's what I'm scared of. If India goes into another golden age, Seoul is dead. So maybe I should have liberated it. But we will see how that goes. This is a very, very low eco game right now. Where am I getting my no next governor title from? A okay, seven turns till audience chamber. So it's not a massive delay on chorus upgrading my void singers. So how does Korea feel about this now? Open borders. No, 
Nopen borders, more like. My borders be nopen. Yeah, I'm gonna have to build builders, but I'll do it after feudalism. <sighs> I need Diplo Quarter. I got nowhere to build it until medieval fairs. I can go straight to medieval fairs though, so I will be able to start planting forests at least. Works out in my favor. Let's position Magnus for a locust play in Haolu. Pretty good forestry in here. We can do some serious locusting. Locust busting. We can go Celestial Navigation, Shipbuilding, Construction in that order. Uh, my empire will explode. That is the thing. There is a point coming. I have, there's literally nothing in here that I could justify building. Maybe start a builder because it'll be a five charge by the time it comes out. It's just a hard knock life right now. The good news is it'll be way easier for me to capture, to recapture the city because it's my control that it's under. 19 turn rebellion time though. That's looking a little bit more reasonable. So we'll just get these guys to heal up. Where is this builder going? Where are my luxuries? Where are my things? Any unimproved luxuries knocking around? A bit of tobacco down here. May as well get that second copy of marble. I think that will enable a workshop-y thing. So no golden age. I'm, I'm really sad about that because the golden age seems almost necessary. Let's have a look in terms of converting. Uh, I feel like it's pretty obvious that we should take Exodus the Evangelists if we want another golden age. We could always get another... We could always go for another monumentality. We could pump... Well, like... So what use is my faith right now? That's the question I'm asking. What use do I have for my faith? I mean, I can get an apostle to evangelize for Eriscore. And then I can spread my religion a lot. Those feel like the only things I can really do with it right now. And so, since I get error score for spreading, why don't I spread my religion? 100% production towards city center buildings is quite nice. It makes it easier to defend. Who's the most hated player? That's always a hard question. I like to use the global relations thing because usually you can figure out who the hated player is. And right now it's looking like it might be either India or me. Oh God, yeah, people really don't like me. So I think I I'll vote me. Yeah, 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 that was me. 100% city center. So my city center buildings are getting built really, really quickly, um, which feels quite nice. I will want to take advantage of that. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure all my cities are doing that. With the exception of ancient walls, but like any basic buildings, definitely want to get those. Right, so you are going to launch an Inquisition. That's plus two era score. God, I think I, if I had a, just a slightly tighter build, I might have been able to pull this off. Just my start was just that little bit, just a little bit too weak to really slam. Now we improve the quarry. And now we can actually build a industry on it. I also, I, I rolled really low on my luxuries, which is not great in a luxuries uh, monopolies game. I don't want to take part in that. So I'm just going to vote that down because I don't, I don't want to go to war. I know she's really, really far away. Maybe I should have voted it up, but like, don't get me involved in this. I don't want to be involved in this. It's not part, it's not part of my game. Uh, let's go ahead and place the harbor in here because that is an integral part of the game. But we are going for watermill on this first. Okay, so we're looking at the Quan tree. Yeah, it's going to be builders. We're going to start pre-building a lot of builders for medieval fairs. This is a very, very weak game for me. Oh man, I need like a lot more Inquisitors. But I'm happy to oblige the Kree. If they want to get their, their units killed, if they want to engage in faith warfare, I am ready to throw down, dude. All right, there's the, mar the first marble industry. Feels good. 30% production boost towards buildings and plus one great merchant point per turn. I don't even have a thing. I'm going to get three great merchant points per turn, which is like top dog in the entire game. It's kind of crazy, actually. First civic from a new era. There's feudalism. So it's going to trigger some very obvious changes. Do, do I want any more settlers? There is an argument to be made to put a settler on this tile right here, as it acts as a buffer, a blocker, a wall. So perhaps one more settler could be appropriate. I definitely want urban planning. I definitely want... So I definitely want urban planning and I definitely want scripture, but maybe I don't want scripture anymore because I'm not in monumentality. Instead, what maybe I want is serfdom. Mm, yeah. And then we just plug in conscription to save a bit of cash. That seems like a pretty based idea. So if you move here and you attack and then you attack, that'll convert to Granada getting me error score. Beautiful. I'm kind of sad that Granada has been murked. We might be able to liberate them later in the game, but it's unlikely. We're having a very, very, we're having actually an incredibly weak game. Like this is actually just a really slow and bad game. Um, we have one hero. We just, we got a rough start. What can I tell you? We need to bring back Hercules this era. I think that's a savior. And also Chorus is going to save us here too. Um, that's an extra 20% culture like we should see right look i'm making 30 science 44 culture and 13 gold i click this button boom 50 science 60 culture and 31 gold so that's that's pretty significant does that mean i still want to like force work my holy science like let me have a think about that it's a significant amount of yields but i don't think it's enough to justify it yeah i'd like more culture i'd like to place my tans they are half price so let's get that placed and then we also want a lot of builders. But I don't actually care to build barracks in these tans. I just want the tans themselves. This city is not going for a harbor. It's coastal off river with no one, two, three. It's got two fish. 
So this is a Harper City, I guess. And I say fish, I mean turtles. Ooh, you know what else it is? It's also a campus city, baby. Hell yeah. We'll get a feature over there later. Magnus is established in Haolu. Let's get our granary and our watermill. Watermill first, because it's slightly more production and food. You go ahead and heal. You heal as well. We have a little bit of a battle going on here. A little religious battle. Eh, you know, what's a little religious conflict between friends, eh? Uh, we do get to take... Calais. God, I need a second copy of Jade. Do I not have a second copy of Jade? I am furious. I have low rolled on luxury so hard, like literally. If I type luxury resource here, look at this. I have one Jade, two marble. Look at this. Look at this, bro. Look at this luxury distribution. All right, I zoom in on the city of Rome. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight luxuries. I zoom into my capital. I can see one two luxuries dude that is inequitable unequ un unequitable unequitable distribution of resources right there dude that's insane that's insane damn we need some map balance here where's the balance like look at all this all the luxuries are like on the edge of terrain that i could afford and grab and then i only have one copy of each i'm gonna have to go to war someone's dying i don't know who it is ah oh, dude and both of my neighbors are the two strongest civs in the game rome and cree are like popping off 160 135 science scotland the science civ off of the corner chugging away with lower science than me india staying on par if i can get ahead of india i might have to kill them i think india might be the kill this game um if i'm gonna kill anyone it's gonna be india i just deleted a pin and i don't know what that pin was maybe it was an aqueduct um so we're saving up for hercules because he's gonna make building districts easier but we don't need to do that for a little while so we can get a couple of missionaries to spread spread the religion because there's a lot of error score hiding in those that 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 stuff okay we have access to lumber mills now that's really really good my science upgrade is huge Medieval Fairs is on the way. I think we should get Apprenticeship for Mines. Although we don't care so much about Apprenticeship to TBH, but I do want that. I want, yeah, I want Aqueducts, I want Buttress, and I want Apprenticeship. Those are the things I want. We got a devotion to Maui, like actually pogging. Actually, wait, this is huge. Oh, an extra ivory, bro. There is potential here. We could get luxuries on these uh, floodplain tiles. I don't know what the best tiles, maybe jungles are really good to do. But yeah, having Maui, that's an extra four potential luxuries. We're talking stonks baby uh who do i want suzerainty of i mean really it would be it would be rapa nui um a really good so actually potential science pivot on the cards here with three scientific city states that's a pivot game if you ask me but we do need to explore more there could be more city states hidden and there could be more city states yet to evolve don't forget that now the big problem is here these guys are on the edge of my terrain all right missionaries we want to find low pop cities to spread to um, because lower pop cities generally have less pressure on them, which means they're easier to convert. So I'll get two more missionaries and then that'll be enough for now to get the ball rolling. Get out of here, Quadrarium. Because I do want to recall Hercules in this era, so I'll have to wait 10 turns to get enough for him. So this builder wants to come down to Haolu. Um, we're just, we're going hog wild with builders here. Um, it'll become very apparent in a little while why we're doing that. Um, but yes, but yes. I would like to head to the north to convert this guy. Renata has been converted, which I, I do appreciate. Maui, what, are the, what do you make? Ooh, maize? Not a fan. Give me, like, some sugar. I need Maui to work with me here. Although it is in the farm triangle, so I kind of accept it. All right, come on. Bro! Okay, maybe I'll try the marsh. So we got our tan. Let's get our watermill and our granary to get the city growing some more. Well, I think this city has a lack of housing, so the granary first actually makes more sense. So this city is going to be stripped bare and then rebuilt from the ground up. That's the plan. You should come back to heal. You're, there's no need to risk it. Play it safe. Okay, they're outside my territory again, which I don't like. Can I afford one more Inquisitor? I think three Inquisitors should be enough to defend my religion. The three Inquisitor hit squad, as I like to call them. All right, there's engineering and medieval fairs. So I did have a couple of um, aqueducts that I think are worth placing. Like this aqueduct here is worth four culture per turn and four turn in the late game because it boosts these adjacent tans so that seems worth it the aqueduct in hui here seems worth it because the city is off of fresh water um and then this the aqueduct in dong dong hui also seems worth it because it boosts the eventual industrial zone that we have planned garrison commander on victor is just always a good pickup in my opinion civil service is always nice just start thinking about my tier two government it's probably going to be theocracy so we'll head there i mean if you're in a faith game theocracy is your is your go-to like Let's just be real. City of Seoul, get the granary. All right, here we go. There is potential. One, two, three. Dong Hoi, big pressure boom. We do need to get these guys healed, but that's not important right now. Convert Geneva. How are we looking? One or two more converts should do it. All right, Maui, don't let me down. <sighs> Bruh, he let me down. Do you know what it is? I failed to make heroes. Why didn't I make more heroes? 
That's why, I, well, I didn't have time to make heroes. That's the thing. It wasn't that I failed to make heroes. It's that I didn't have time to make heroes. Let's be real. But I mean, we're, we're churning out error score. So we'll, we'll have a delayed power spike. Like, look at that. We're up to 71 error score already. And we've only just really begun. Geneva has been converted, which is ideal. Let's go ahead and see if maybe we can convert Korea. You guys make your way back to heal. Get those Inquisitors healed up so we can continue to fight with them. We have the Granary of the Monument. Yep, yeah, builders. We need builders. The we're in, we're in the builder phase of the game. Maui has no real use for me. There's no threat on the board so I'm just going to go ahead and delete him so I get that relic which is worth six faith per turn which seems quite good plus a little bit of passive tourism not a bad amount actually if you think about it 18 tourism why is that worth so much tourism wait a minute oh my god why is there so much tourism in my capital in Dong Hoi <gasps> Dong Hoi doesn't follow my religion we figured it out uh so I'm gonna chop here that'll get that builder out faster and then we can do mass retooling so what is the actual plan for the city I'm not going for a harbor in here the harbor is for these two cities the city will so let's let's talk about the districts the city wants we want this we want this and we want this but it's a matter of finding where to place them so we have two cities here I feel like a tan goes on that tile Right, because I don't care about the growth in here so much as I care about getting the tan. And then it's just the case of like, I want a commercial hub here. I want a theater square here. And then I'll put a tan here and I'll put an entertainment complex here and I'll put a theater square here. And then that's kind of like the layout. Well, I don't want that theater square, but this is starting to look like a little bit more reasonable, a little bit like what I want from this city. So you're building one, two, three districts. You're building one, two, three districts. That's perfect. Um, do we want to move anything? Not really. We, we could do some moving and reconfiguring, but I think I'm okay with that. Now we look at the city of Kwong Tree. Um, I think you could do an aqueduct here. So if you could do an aqueduct here, that means we could put a tan here. We could put a commercial hub here and a theater square here. So this is starting to look like a little bit reasonable. Like it's like a build actually coming together. Right, plantation, down you go, my boy. We got a builder, five charge builder. We step forward and we, ch we chop out builders. And by chopping out builders, we can retool the landscape faster. And also we need more gold. So because we need to buy tiles, we want to basically, we're, we're basically going into full locust mode. We're chopping everything and then replanting forests down. I know it sounds kind of insane, but it will make sense when you actually see like what and why and where and how we do this. You know, there is an argument to be made for a preserve right there. It's like we give up one tile, but we get a bunch of really good ones. Um, National Park here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We are in National Park Town now. Boom. One, two, three. We could fit a National Park right there. So I'm, just, I'm just laying out the plans. These, this, you know, we might not actually end up doing these things, but this is the plan, the general principles laying out like oh look at that look at that look how well it lines up that's just yeah so we got room for national parks that feels good there's at least one two three four national parks i like it we got we got even more land over here that we haven't even begun to really plan i love it when a plan starts coming together and save like that's just an exciting moment i really want to buy these turtles and get them online but it's not quite time for that when do i get Okay, so I need to get to economics. So I am going to want good science this game, which is nice because I'm playing uh, an exact kind of build that gets nice science. Do you think we can go convert Taruga? I think we might be able to pull that off. What's through, what is through the veil? I've been re-listening to uh, the Red Rising books. So I'm on the second book. Now, I only ever got through the first book, right? Red Rising. And then what's the second? I can't remember the name of the second book. It's like Godson or something. But man, those books are good. Very violent, very brutal, very evil. Evil books, I would say. Okay, so we chop for a builder. He steps forward and guess what he does? You're not going to believe it, right? This guy, he also chops for a builder. And then this guy, he comes forward and guess what he does? He chops for a builder. You're right. Exactly. So now we have multiplied our builder chops, right? We're, we're in duplication mode. We're like, a, we're like a, an amoeba bisecting ourselves to, to replicate. It's a beautiful sight and you should be happy to see it. I, I also, what I've been seeing recently, and it's honestly like the funniest thing it might actually be the best meme since Jordan Peterson like appeared on social media. The the goddamn people have been like taken taking Jordan Peterson like ranting on things like saying just like whatever insane crazy thing he's saying since he like went off the rails and they like inserted into like old video game movies like Command and Conquer. There's like one where he's like the possession, the ideological possession with Kane, and then it like it cuts to like a hand of nod from Command and Conquer broadcast. It was like the fun I don't know why, but I cried laughing dude i cried laughing i don't know why i cannot ex i cannot explain it to you but it might actually be the funniest thing i've ever seen in my life okay so let's start with the commercial hub real casual like now of course before we start with the commercial we're gonna chop out some more builders because that is just how we do things yeah so we got the commercial hub down we're gonna get more districts down so like we would like to get the tan down as well 
Boom, boom. So we're getting all these districts placed. We want to place the theater square next, but we will casually work on that. And how many more chops do you reckon we can get in this city? I would say that chop and that chop. So maybe one more builder. Uh, go ahead and plant that forest there. So we want to do like forest, lumber mills, all that jazz. You're in position. Okay, I want to convert the city because I don't think it's ever been converted and it hasn't. So that was worth two era score. I got my, my, my three Inquisitor hit squad. I almost got enough faith saved up for Hercules, who will accelerate my build a little bit. We definitely want to plant forests there. We come back up and we plant the theater square on that forest. Boom. So we've got our three main districts. The preserve is kind of a luxury district that we'll get later. Yeah, you need to, you need to get away from this because you need to get away from this volcano because it is killing you, dude. Uh, we will convert Busan. That's a one charge convert. That is like serious two era score value. He wants open borders. He wants to trade stuff. Nah, I'm good. I'm good, man. Thanks. My relic is worth way more to me with reliquaries. Reliquaries is just such a fun build. Faith is just so strong these days. Yeah, so getting a little bit of conversion, a little bit of conversion time with Taruga kind of suits me. I got three charges on this bad boy. I got to find a low pop city. Yeah, like Jean Jeonju. That's a good one to go for. How long we got left in this area? 25 to 45 turns and I need another 20 or so era score. I think that's doable. I think that's within the realms of possibility. I think we have what it takes to go to distance on that one. Um, okay, so plant woods, plant woods. You can't plant woods outside your territory. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, that kind of makes sense. All right, lumber mill, boom. There we go. That's the boost. Woods. We just, we're just, we're going, we're going all in woods. Like I, you know, the old joke. Aha, I got wood. Well, let me tell you. Okay, you haven't seen how much wood I got until I've planted all my woods. Okay, just wait. You hold on there. Oh, Nanmat. Oh, it's a huge find. This is major technology. Ooh, okay. We can make, we can, you know, that's opening up the culture victory a little bit more. Uh, we definitely want to take season tree of that though, because Robert the Bruce, in the hands of Robert the Bruce, this is waste. Um, 65 gold to plug in charismatic leader. Get that out. We plug in. Diplomatic League, boom. Did I ever? No, I haven't got Reformed Church yet. So I come in here, I put a point into you, boom, that gets doubled. Then I go to this. Now I'm Suzerain, two plus two error score, amazing. Happy Fan Wukong, another barb cap. Easy. E wow, what are you? Nice galleys. What are they doing? These are like, uh, <laughs> these are like the guys that uh, that found out those like uh, expeditions up north. None but all. That's not where I would have expected to find you, but that's where you are. So we're doing okay. We're doing okay. You continue to explore for me. You might get me a little bit of error score. You're hanging out there. Um, lumber mills. So yeah, lumber mills are the big thing. Now, how close are we to conservation? Is it, I don't think it's worth it to like improve this horse tile, for example. All right, there's more builders. I think it is worth it to improve this though. Like some things are worth improving. So yeah, let's come in here, replace our tan. This city probably doesn't need a, a round of Magnus, a Magnusing. Not even a little bit. You should get the base. Ooh, I smell dinner. It smells tasty. Who the hell is cooking? That smells like bacon. God damn. I already ate. Uh, let's build the tan, then the commercial hub. Well, let's go theater square first because we make good money, but we need lots of culture to get ahead. I mean, I am ahead on culture. It's a science where I'm falling down a little bit. Convert. Oh, easy convert. Easy convert. Any low pop cities? <gasps> Might be able to steal this. Neapolis. It's like ice cream, but I'm converting a city. What about you? <gasps> Guanju. Come on, Guanju. You should be an easy convert. Oh, yeah. I just need to get Jeonju converted and then that should passively convert Kwanju. Let's be friends. Sure. Yeah, sounds good to me. So yeah, in, in the back of my mind, I am still thinking about killing India. That's like in there. And the reason being is that like, to, like victories in Civ 6, it's usually like dependent upon how much land you have. And the more land you have, the easier it is to win. Like it's just like really what it boils down to is a, is a win condition is directly related to the like proportion of the map that you control. Um, like how easy that win condition is rather. So yeah, theater square, um, chop, plant woods, come in here, place that theater square. Is it second growth woods? I don't remember. It might be old growth. I can't tell. How do you tell? It literally doesn't say. Okay, we're going to have to figure that out. Chop that. Boom. There's the tan. God, I love that. I love that. Magnus, my, honestly, chopping things out with Magnus is one of the most fun parts of the game. I really do think the chop was like a super big advancement for the game. I would like to do a trade route that I would actually finish. So maybe trading with my neighbor, as dumb as that sounds, is the technology that we go for. So what are you up to? 82 out of 82. Do I have a golden age? No. We found Beowulf. There's apprenticeship. I will add that city state emergency, I guess. Not that I want to take part in it, but if someone else does. All right, come on. Convert Jay on you. Wait, what are you, are you kidding me? Oh, I guess the city grew and that made it harder. God damn it. Yeah, I think getting the Voi Chen might be a big help here. Plop down that, come in here, place the commercial hub on the forest I just planted. It's a very weird gameplay style. There's not enough forests in Kuang Tree to justify a Magnus stop off. I think Magnus's next stop after this chop is for him to go and make friends with the city of Seoul. 
and we'll just put this guy in my capital for housing. Uh, yep, we're good with that. Why don't you guys come back and heal up? All right, we're planting woods galore. Yeah, so that's second growth woods, which means we should plant. Why can't you place? Uh... I need this tile, that's why. But yeah, we'll plant our, com our entertainment complex. Let me go with Than into Theater Square. Maybe Theater Square into Than, but I will finish that builder like this. Yeah, sure, why not put a farm there? I mean, what'll it cost me? Very little at the end of the world. Uh, chop here, there we go, aqueduct finished. Place that tan, but get the theater square. It's theater square time. Our theater squares are very late, considering like my speed run that I did one time was like I had won by this turn. That's how late my theater squares are. Just by the by, I I don't want to vote that up. I I wish I could choose just to not to vote because I don't care about the out. I don't care necessarily about the outcome. Military emergency targeting the Cree. Interesting. Uh, governor titles. Let's get more governors because I do have a uh, audience chamber or whatever it's called that allows that gets you benefits for having just having governors uh, the city definitely needs like some work so we'll do a little shopping uh, and then spare bill charges can make their way down to Seoul that's how we'll do this so second growth woods um, oh it's time for Hercules Hercules where are you if you please Hercules come back to me to air a score we have Hercules in our grasp. Let's go ahead and teleport him over to the city of Tracu. This city is going to need the most help, so I might just build it at least one or two of its districts. I might even build this shipyard. I think I'll build this city's theater square and maybe this city's shipyard. We'll see. You're converting in five turns, so that's a natural conversion time. What are the odds that I convert you? Not a three population. Need to find like a lower pop city. Plus exploring is this valuable here. Uh, but this does tell me now that I have I've recovered Hercules, which is one of my biggest goals for the era. I can go back into into spreading my religion. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Another kill. That's really good for me. What if I do I want to go missionaries to spread? So usually missionaries are used to spread to empires that haven't yet converted. So let's just make some missionaries, send them off into the world, generate pressure, improve our stock. OK, we got our aqueduct. We're getting really good adjacency on these tans now. What else do we have going on in here? I mean, we could get a dam. I don't think we should get a dam. Honestly, uh, Diplo Quarter here. Fine. Get that Diplo Quarter going. All right, go ahead and get that theater square up. Then we'll go Amphitheater, Than, into Entertainment Complex. That seems like a reasonable set. We'll chop here to get that a little bit quicker. Guanju. Oh, look at that conversion. We're mere points away from a recovery golden age. We're finding even more Hunza. Let's take suzerainty of Hunza. First time, Chocolate Hills. Plus two era score, amazing. And we found Himiko. Pog, dude. Huge Pogs. I need like way more production. Speaking of production, how about you? What about you? Ooh, 10 turns for a hero. Himiko would be quite nice, actually. So I'll see if we can get Himiko. Maybe I should have chopped her out. Hindsight 2020, yeah, I should have chopped her out. Saucy Sousa. Ooh, hello, Inca. So I've met all the players in the game right now. So this is actually really good and important. It, it is important to meet every player in the game because you cannot generate tourism against someone you have not yet met. So we're on track to a really good tourism play. We're about to get divine right. We're at the transition into a medieval. Is it medieval or renaissance? A renaissance era golden age with monarchy. So this could mean archaeological purchases, potentially, as our transition point. I really should be doing retainers. Um, so I think serfdom makes sense. Urban planning seems fine. Autocracy is OK. I don't need it. I don't have a lot of really good cards is my problem right now. So I think retainers is quite good. Have I researched? I Yeah, I'm going to cancel that research so I can buy scouts in all my cities really cheaply as garrisons. Or I'm just going to move my units around to garrison. Yeah, but I'll plug in Merchant Confederation because it's an extra 14 gold per turn. That seems quite good with retainers. And conscription. Now, what I should do is move you to there, move you to there, move you to there, move you to there, move you to there. Just like get these units around to all my different cities. Just make sure every single one has an order. So you're going there, you're going to Da Nang, you're going to Than Long, you're going to Haolu, teleport you to Da Nang. So we're missing garrisons for Hue and Quan Tri, which is where the purchasing of scouts for 120 gold. 120 gold for an amenity is like a pretty decent price. Speaking of amenities. All right, no one has luxuries to sell, Sag. You know who does have luxuries to sell, though? My inquisitors as they attack your missionary. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to spread your, my religion. You're sending religious units into my borders. That was a thing you did. I didn't do that. You did that. This is a you problem, not a me problem. Oh, we're starting to see the appeal. The extra, you know, faith coming in from the appeal. That's exactly what we want to be seeing. Um, I really need a builder in this city, but the builders will be coming out of Seoul. Missionaries also make great scouts, which is something I really like about them. So we have a definitely secured golden age. We don't need to buy any more missionaries. Um, 
That's good news. What have we got to sell? Anyone want to buy horses, iron or Diplo favor? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Nice bit of cash in the bank. So good cash in the bank, which means we can come in here and we can buy ourselves another scout. Lots of amenities. I really need to set hotkeys for these buttons. I've been clicking on them for so long and it's like, honestly, it's just a mistake at this point in my career. The fact that I can call playing Civ my career and I don't have hotkeys for some of the buttons in the game is just honestly... <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to say what it is, but it's, uh, let's just say it's not flattering. So how's our tempo looking? I think our tempo looks pretty damn good, if I might say. Ooh, I would like to settle. I would like to settle another couple of cities. Might be able to get that off in the Renaissance era. We'll see. Just a couple extra cities, but a couple extra districts could swing the game. Because remember, more land equal more tourism equal more winning. It's the most important equation in the game, okay? More land equal more tourism equal more winning. If you're not following the fundamental equation of winning, well, Charlie Sheen is going to be very upset with you. God, there's a good throwback, eh? But I mean, looking at the current state of our empire, yes, we missed a medieval era golden age. But we are on track for a really good tempo game. We've got Seoul. In fact, I'm going to buy a builder in Seoul in the next turn or two and just run around. Like, I've got so many chops to buy in here. We could even maybe do a wonder or two in here, depending on how frisky we're feeling. Like, we could crack out a Terracotta army. Remember, this is worth a lot of tourism. Um, if we check what... What is that? That is a classical era... Yes, it's a classical era wonder, which means like Mahabodhi Temple, it'll generate plus three tourism per turn going up once per era. So by the late game, this could be making four or five tourism per turn. And I mean, like, that's pretty respectable. That's respectable tourism, you know? It's not amazing. It's respectable. Though. Like, we already have the potential here to pop off. Anyway, though, I think that's going to be the end of the video. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.